In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this cinematic Lightroom preset. So this preset is leaning towards the green spectrum, which I think gives a really, really lovely final finish. Now the original image is okay. The colors are fine. The white balance is okay. It gives it a very sort of clean, crisp look. But this particular preset gives it a real raw film finish to the image. And I really like it. So instead of me shouting out all the numbers of where the hues are and saturation, things like that, I'm gonna put all the details of this preset below the video so you can just copy them. But I'm gonna reset this and I'll walk you through the process anyway so you can see what to do. So the first thing we wanna do is come up to the top here and we want to select a different profile. So what we're gonna select is artistic number three. So we're gonna click on that and just click on close and that's going to give us a bit more of a warmer look and then i'm going to come down to the tint i'm going to push that up a little bit just to go into that sort of purple spectrum i'm going to add some contrast to it as well just to boost that up because i do like a contrasting image i'm going to bring the highlights down a little bit just because on this image there is a few highlights as you can see there in the shot windows and because it is dark on this one i'm going to just pull the shadows up as well just to brighten up and get some more detail in there so on the whites i think we can pull them down a little bit again the reason why i'm doing this is because of the bright lights that are in this so on your image you may want to just adjust that a little bit less or more depending on what you've shot and i'm going to increase the blacks up as well on this for the same reason, because I just want to get detail in these areas. So that's pretty straightforward there. So scrolling down, I'm going to come to the uh, the texture, the clarity, and the dehaze. So I'm just going to add a little bit of clarity to this. And I'm just going to add a little bit of dehaze as well. There we go, just to push that along. And I think I'm going to come to the vibrance. And what I've done on this is just push this up a little bit just to get them colors punching through. Now this part here, this won't be in the description because I can't post a picture in there. So it's really simple though. All you want to do is make three, three points. Okay, so the whites, the grays, and the blacks. I'm just going to pull the blacks down a little bit. And I'm going to do the same with the grays or the mid-tones in there. And maybe just pull the white down a fraction. So you get this kind of uh, weird sort of boomerang shape going on there and that's just going to add contrast and you can see it does quite a good job okay so now moving on to the color mixer so what i'll do is i'll start with the hues and then i'll go on to saturation luminance and then color grading so i'm just going to bring the reds down i'm going to bring the orange down as well so i'm doing them both to minus minus 10 and then the yellow as well i'm going to bring that down quite a bit there we go and i'm just trying to remember what i did yeah, it was aqua i brought that down as well to the same and then i'm going to bring the blue down as well bring that right down to about minus 60 and just because of the uh, color that's in the actual main shot if we look you can see what that's done to that blue. It's just brightened it. It's just pulled it into that green spectrum there, you can see. Okay, so moving on to the saturation, I'm going to push the reds up to around there. And I'm going to do the same with the oranges, maybe just a little bit more. I'm going to bring the yellows down. And to around, yeah, minus 40, 41 around there, that would do. And then green, oh, let's pull green out because I hate green. Let's pull that down to 60. And same with the aqua. And the blue. Purple, maybe not as much. Down to, I think I've done it to about minus 40. And uh, same with the magenta there. So, yeah, just pulling out them colours. You can see we're almost getting a colour pop. And we're leaving lots of red and lots of orange so that we can then add color back into these areas here that we've just stripped all right so let's go to the luminance so the brightness of the thing i'm just going to pull the reds down a little bit and the oranges down 
about minus 11 each and that's just because of what we've done we've just stripped all that color so i just want to tone them colors down just a little bit um, to help with the final result so now moving on to the color grading we've got the shadows the midtones, the highlights and then the global some of you might not have seen the global even knew it was there it's a really good tool so in the shadows we want to just type in a hue of 40 and then saturation I am going to give that saturation of 30 and I'm going to push the luminance up to 20 and I'm going to push the blending all the way up to 100 and then I'm going to move on to the midtones. So I'm going to have hue of 175, saturation of 40 and then I'm going to move on to the highlights. So I'm going to have a hue, let's put 40 in there and saturation of 50 and then let's go to the global now this is where the main change is going to happen you can see what we've done here so far so a quick look you can see there see we've added some color back in you can see we've started to add in a little bit of a warmer green tone in there so now what we're going to do is add a hue of 175 so it's the same as what we've done a minute ago on the the mid tones wasn't it yeah 175 and then a saturation of 50 boom there you go you can see what that's doing so that's giving us a really really nice overall color tone so let's scroll down and because i'm just going to add a little bit of sharpening plus 10 and yeah because we've done so much to the image i always like to add a little bit of noise reduction in there so in the luminance so the brightness and then same with the color as well i'm going to push that up to 20. you can leave the rest as they are and that is it that's how you do this lightroom preset so it gives you a real cinematic look you can see there's the before and after and it does give you a really really cool image and it looks like something out of the movie which is what we're after you can see that the final result looks really really interesting so i hope you enjoyed that like i said all the settings are below this video, so copy them. It'd be a lot quicker for you to do it that way. But you can watch the video and just get an idea of what I'm doing. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.